right on today's spicy kiss review another flavor of Pringles from Japan that I just had to get because oh my god this is brilliant science this is Pringles eggs Benedict so I first heard about this flavor of Pringles because I watched the carbs video Matt Zion reviewed this uh, this particular flavor not too long ago so I'll put a link in the description to his video eggs Benedict is one of my all-time favorite breakfast. I would eat it for dinner if I could too. It's just freaking delicious to me. I don't know how they pull off the Eggs Benedict flavor on here. I kind of wish I could read more Japanese, but that's just the way it is. Something also down here about New York, but I have absolutely no idea what the rest of this uh, message says down at the bottom because it's all in kanji and I can't read that for beans. So let's break this open for science. Let's see how if I struggle with the lid today, with the, this little part right here. Not too much of a struggle today. You know, it doesn't really smell like too much. Not really getting anything that would remind me of Eggs Benedict. It is a 53 gram jar, or 53 gram can, I guess you could say. Uh, some smaller chips, really little more petite than the normal probably also a little more sturdy got two in my hand let's try it out mm. <laughs> that's actually not bad you get the egg to start that's one of the first tastes that I get the egg and then as you keep eating it I'm getting the hollandaise in there and I'm getting what might be uh, replicating ham or Canadian bacon or whatever you would wish to have on your Benedict. Overall not not too bad actually it's pretty tasty. You know I could easily see this being a pretty good success in the US. You know there are various forms of eggs Benedict nowadays you're not just sticking with the ham or the Canadian bacon whatever you feel that goes on a traditional eggs Benedict. You know I see more avocado like a California style you see Benedict's with seafood these days. You know, whatever floats your boat. Let me know down in the comments if you like Eggs Benedict and if you prefer the traditional or an offshoot of that traditional. I'd give this a solid 4 out of 5. Really, really good. Uh, I think I spent maybe a buck for this. A little over a buck, maybe a buck 20. Something like that. Again, 53 gram uh, short can. So I did have to also pay for it to get here. Uh, so that's probably... Uh, preventing the five on this particular video. We need some hot sauce, man. Come on. Get some tasty stuff in here today. So this particular hot sauce is Manzana Encendida. It's apples on fire hot sauce. It's also a habanero hot sauce. I'm going to take a couple of chips here. I'm just going to put a nice amount on here. <laughs> now that goes well together. And the main reason I also pick this sauce, usually when I have Eggs Benedict, I'll just default to a, a just a really nice, flavorful, not super hot nuclear hot sauce to enjoy with my breakfast. So I figured give a, a nice little shout out to Habanero sauce, really, really tasty. It's got, I believe, some mangoes and carrots and apples in here keeps the tropical uh, theme going works really well with this so would you try Pringles eggs Benedict flavor for science let me know down in the comments that is all for the spicy kiss review guys embrace that pain and I'll see you in the next video